Hey everybody, it's Monkey Farm, and I'm going to give you hopefully some useful tips for transitioning your existing world into the new 1.8 update. Um, I know everybody's kind of concerned on how 1.8 is going to treat their current world, whether um, whether any of the new features will show up in their old maps or not. Um, I've heard conflicting rumors that you know at first. Uh, we heard that if you just go into a chunk that had never loaded before, all of the new terrain and the canyons and biomes and all of that would show up. Uh, now I'm hearing a rumor that that might not even be true, so we may, you know, it, it doesn't matter though, so don't stress about it too much. If, if you are a person who needs to, uh, or that wants to use your same map or same world, uh, but you just want it to be in 1.8 and you want it to have all the 1.8 features, uh, there are a few fairly easy things that you can do. Um, one, what we need to do is figure out what your world seed is. Um, now 1.8, I believe if you push F3 and 1.8 over on the left, it will actually tell you what your Minecraft seed is. So if that's the case, it will be very easy to figure out what your seed is. Uh, if not, I will put a link in the description to uh, to a tool that you can basically download. It's it's not anything you have to install, but it's really easy. It'll basically just tell you what the seed is for all of your different worlds that you have, all of your different maps. Then secondly, once we create a fresh map using your world seed, so basically everything, all the mountains and, and, and everything will show up uh, with the new 1.8 terrain, uh, then what we'll do is basically show you how to use MC Edit to copy in either your buildings or a large chunk of land, whatever it is that you're interested in doing, and paste that into your 1.8 ready uh, map. So then you will have all of the 1.8 features, and you will also have all of your old buildings and stuff in it. So uh, basically what I'll show you first is the, uh, the World Seed tool. Okay, I've got it open here. Uh, basically, it's just a little window that shows up, and you'll see on the left there is a name of your of your saves. So mine mine's just called New World. I never changed it. So uh, there's New World, and then there's the World Seed number. So basically, you just need to copy that World Seed number over. Then what you need to do is go back into Minecraft and create a new world. And I'm going to rename this uh, blank and then you create the new world and your old world will be created fresh in 1.8 uh, the only difference obviously will be that you don't have any of your buildings in it so I need to go find my home spot okay we're back in Minecraft and I just loaded up my uh, my blank seed and had 1.8 come out yet this would be 1.8 and any tr possible new terrain would be showing up but uh, here it is blank without any of my buildings. And what I'm actually going to do now is close Minecraft altogether. And you need to make sure you close it because we're going to open up MC Edit now. Okay, so the it, it will corrupt your files if you if you don't have Minecraft closed. So just make sure you do that. Okay, I'm back in MC Edit, and what you want to do is uh, click Load World or Open Level. Um, I've already opened this, so. Uh, basically, I'm going to go into my existing world with my buildings, and I'm going to show you how to basically just save a schematic of one of your buildings. And you can do this as large as you want. Uh, uh, you know, you can copy an entire area if you want, uh, but it does take some computing power, so you want to make sure your computer can handle it because uh, it does take a while to process. Um, so the controls are a little quirky. You move around using the same controls that you do in Minecraft, the W, A, S, D, uh, keys and then you if you right click it'll stop wiggling around and you can just have a cursor and you can select things so I'm going to just select kind of a big chunk here and then what you can do is adjust your selection so you just basically drag the box around and then you can move it around and select whatever it is that you want to select now I'm not going to worry about selecting everything here um, because this is just a demo, but you know, I, I could go down under here and select my mine and let's see all of that. Okay, so it takes a little working to get where you want to 
to be. But let's say this were uh, the entire thing that I wanted to copy. Uh, you can click export schematic over here and this window I don't think pops up in fraps but um, I'm going to save uh, save the selection and give it a name okay now now I need to close this world and open up my new world which is blank I named it blank so this is that world without anything in it and now I need to import that schematic and paste it into this world so you go down here and click import I'm going to select, I named it uh, First Home. Okay, so here's the schematic. Now this, it may seem really difficult to use. Uh, what I recommend is just placing, you, you left click it basically anywhere. Just make sure you can see the selection. Okay, so right now MC Edit is basically going to paste this in the middle of the air. So we don't want that. What we need to do is use the nudge tool over here so you hold down your left click button and then use your WASD keys to adjust the area you know adjust where this is and then to go up or down you use Q or Z so I'm pushing Z right now and it's lowering okay so basically um, I know I know there is a selection let's see trying to match things up here okay so if you look right here you need to find some kind of landmark where you can uh, match your selection you know to make sure that you're placing it in the right area so I'm wiggling the selection around just to make sure I have it in the right area once I do all I have to do is click import and bam it's done and you and you can choose whether you want air and water to be copied over as well so I will deselect this now and now this building is in my new hypothetically 1.8 world now you just need to click control and save and this will take a while if you've made a lot of uh, edits using MC edit it will take a while to process but just give it time don't interrupt it you know it could take a couple minutes you never know and then I'm going to go quit out and go back into Minecraft okay now we're back in the blank world with the uh, with the one building that we pasted in and there you go so um, if this is if you need to keep your existing buildings and your existing seed and you want to transition them over to 1.8 when the update comes out um, that is the uh, that is the way I can recommend doing it so there you go I hope that helped and we'll see you guys when 1.8 comes out.